HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Sounds good to me. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Yeah, you better run. Oh boy. Hey, it's my boys. Or boy and girl, I should say. My name is Chef Jr. Welcome to Dying Light. So, this isn't going to be a let's play like I'm usually doing. This is, will be a playthrough of all the different stories that you can do. I won't go through every single one. I'll try to focus on the main ones and some side, some side quests here and there. Because some of the side quests are kind of long. So... Let's just start off with the intro. But let's just go. This will be, this is like the first mission that you actually get. It's the whole intro part of the game, so let's just get right into it. You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! So Dying Light is a zombie game, as you can see, but it's also a parkour game. 
easily one of my favorite games of all time. So, this is the uh, the opening, or not the opening, uh, the first and only place that you go to to be safe. It's they'll, they'll explain it later. Ah! Boo. You sleep for three days like a dead man that scared children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The bus What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the thirty-first infected. I'm the eighteenth. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizin. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Uh, look at this kid. Keep going. Something crazy. Do something stupid. Oh, ooh, look at him go. Okay, I'm not playing around. A meal died because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get a meal's anti scene. Say it to my face. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. Thanks. Everybody hates me now. <laughs> I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Okay. So yeah, this is just the basic run around, like meet everybody, you know. And eventually you'll learn how to survive out here. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your Anderson was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know my runners put their lives in danger for guys like you. So now you take the antisen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I'd lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Uh, sir! Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just... Hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Okay. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Yeah, you little shit. Try to do a playthrough here. Educate the folks. So yeah. We're gonna go to the 13th floor and see who what happened to the lost guy. Where do you think you're going? Make 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Yeah, so what are you doing? Can I have that pipe? Of course not. By the way, this is an elevator. I've never seen an elevator. Like, with an actual door and not an elevator door. Jesus, how many people died here? Too many. So like I said, this isn't gonna be a let's play. No, it's just gonna be me 
uh, going through all the, uh, the the missions. Well, not all of them, but some some side missions, all of the main missions. So Where were you? it's going to take a bit, but you'll see. I'll shut up. Hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry. My cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity and taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? I don't think that was... I don't think that pipe was there in the first place, so... After you go say help, go in here, say hi to the zombie, and no matter what, he'll die in one hit. Yep. No matter what, they'll always die in one hit. Or at least this guy will. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. <laughs> Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. So gauze and alcohol will create a med kit. Duct tape. This just shows that you can look around, see what you can find. And pick you can pick up stuff. Oh, and you can also use your survivor sense, which is which is if you hold down X, you can see all the stuff that can be picked up or looked at. Pretty handy. All right, that's alcohol. Now we just need some uh, some gauze. Open up the door, it's real. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. No, I'm still looking. So yeah, even if you find everything you need, there's still some stuff that you don't have to pick up, but like this, it'll explain later, but let's just crap this med kit. So there's blueprints that tells you how to make them. And it shows how many can you can make, like quantity produced, like y you can create one. So that's how it works. And you can make a med kit. So we'll bring the med kit back over here, and we shall be done with this mission. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Cool. And that's it. That's the end of the mission. Well done, 31. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Can't really well, do anything when there's good. dialogue going on. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Okay, so Raheem is gonna show me how to survive out there, which is what I was talking about earlier. So all I gotta do is just go all the way upstairs. Actually, no, not all the way upstairs. You gotta go in here first, and then talk to him. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, 
You are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Yeah, little shit. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. <laughs> you can change your clothes? Not really... Not really a f fun feature in this game. All you gotta do is just go in here and change your clothes. There will be more outfits later, but for now, this is going to be the only clothes that we can wear. Can't really see okay, yourself. Rahim, I'm ready. You, you can kind of see yourself if you look down. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Okay, so just a couple fights up. Yeah, so now you go upstairs. Go to the roof, and he will show me how to survive out there. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Yeah, so this is where the parkour comes into play. R1 is to jump. Holding R1 will grab the ledge that you're looking at. And you have to be looking at the ledge. Because if you don't, you won't be able to grab the ledge. So all you gotta do is just look up. And then, yeah, just look at the ledge that you are that you want to climb up. And then hold the, the jump button. You want to feel right at home. A green on a green. Yep. Hey guys, are you, are you scared of heights? Sorry. So he's gonna teach us about parkour, about all the different skills that you can learn while doing parkour. Well, I'll just let him do the talking. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. What are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Ah! Ah! Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. So you don't you don't take fall damage if you jump on uh garbage bags or mattresses or sometimes cars. So all you gotta do is just uh, holy shit. do that. Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Yes, sir. And he's gone. He's a ghost. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Eventually, you'll learn how to slide while going under those things. That is just jump. Just follow the instructions. Once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad. For a noob. 
yeah, if you jump across the ledge, you'll be able to um, keep running. Just look up. There you go. All right. Get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because they're sure as hell eating on that. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Yeah, all you gotta do is just grab onto the ledge, shimmy over, and then... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Just hold up, and then just make your way up to the top, Good or job. wherever you're trying to reach. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Okay. So it's just like the, the final step of the test. Just learn everything that you've learned. And then look over there. Beautiful. Then we will jump. Okay. okay. That's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. Have you done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Yep. <laughs> now here's where things get interesting. What's what is happening to me? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Right. Talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. They'll explain it, but those will remind you that you're infected without Antizen. Without some antisin, you won't survive. Like, you see those trashes? You won't take fall damage if you land on top of them. Especially if you're really high up. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zero, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay. So now we're actually going to go outside and learn more about the eaters or as the zombies. There'll be different types of zombies. All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. By the way, the actor is Roger Craig Smith, one of my favorite voice actors. Up. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like I'm you, here. but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy guy. So yeah, the quartermaster gives you uh, ba three basic things. A weapon, a lockpick, a medkit, and some metal parts. Lockpicks and medkits are going to be very helpful. I believe... <laughs> You can only get these on each day, like every every day in in game, right? So around this time, I believe it was nine o'clock. You'll get these weapons will 
restart, you know? So, yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna go outside. Oh, before I do. Uh, I want to talk about these skills. So, the survivor rank is based off your missions that you do. Your agility is the parkour. The power is the amount of damage that that you do against. If you, let's say you jump off a building, right, and land on some cars, you will get, I believe, it's a hundred, a hundred points. I might be wrong, but. But yeah, every time you do something parkour-ish, then you'll gain XP, and then once you level up, you'll basically level up all these different stuff, you know, like the dodge, the grapple, the, br the brutal grapple, the slide, the leg breaker, you know, all that fun stuff. But this, this is what I want, the drop kick. That's probably one of my favorite moves in this game. So yeah, a lot of stuff that you can learn. So yeah. Uh, what am I doing? What else? Is there anything else? Oh, and here's the map. It's not that big, but then again, you are just a person. There's no vehicles in this game. All you gotta do is just run around, hope that you can go to the right place. Like, let's say I want some uh, water algae, I'll just go right there and just find some underwater algae. So, yeah. But now, let's just go on to the next mission. Get a shot of Antisand from Dr. Zare. Yeah. yeah, what of it? 